Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube, welcome back to the channel. A little different today guys, still the exploring series, which we know you guys love, but we are in, we're in Pembrokeshire. Look at this guys, beautiful. We're here to explore some of Wales' finest cuisines, little cities and towns, and beautiful coastline. Anyway, click the like button down below guys if you love this series as much as we love making it. Exploring Wales, let's go. Welcome to Exploring Wales episode two guys. And what better way to start than driving down a crazy single track Welsh road and very much hoping the car makes it back out again in one piece. We're headed out to the rocky but stunning headland near Dale in the good old Pembrokeshire. Oh my God. Crazy Welsh roads guys, look at this. This is actually owned by the National Trust, it's like crazy down here. Just out to the west of Milford Haven, there is an amazing fort up here called the West Blockhouse, which stands alone on the cliff overlooking the sea. Now owned by the Landmark Trust and an Airbnb of sorts, it did use to once hold accommodation for 34 men and one officer. A battery of six heavy guns once commanded the entrance to the harbour with defensible barracks behind to give protection from attack on the landward side. Built with comfort in mind, it has fine views along the Pembrokeshire coast and there is a sheltered south facing beach within a few hundred yards. And that's why we're here, for the absolutely stunning views. It is pretty windy up here but absolutely breathtaking at the same time and it certainly makes you feel alive sitting up here. This is the outermost work of the mid 19th century fortification of Milford Haven. The fort was completed in 1857 and it continued in use until the Second World War, updated from time to time with new guns and emplacements. The fort became a grade two listed building in 1996 because it is probably the best preserved of all the forts around Milford Haven. As I said, it is a truly stunning location. Anyone fortunate enough to stay here will probably never forget it. Milford Waterfront is where we are now, a relatively new development within the harbourside town of Milford Haven. There's a buzzy atmosphere down here and lots of great restaurants. Today, we're heading to Martha's Vineyard. Situated at the heart of Milford Waterfront, Martha's Vineyard is a family-run bar and restaurant with stunning views over the Milford Haven Waterway and Milford Marina. With a passion for fresh fish, great meats and quality ingredients, the menu and daily specials board offers something for everyone to enjoy. Time for a glass of the good stuff. So we're in Martha's Vineyard guys, chicken wing time. Chicken wing, chicken wing, I got in the whole Chicken wings at Martha Vineyard. Oh, there's a proper sex. A lemon water and that's for napkins. Probably to dip your fingers in. It's good for Martha Vineyard. Jordan's definitely the chicken wing connoisseur. Yeah, ooh, hello. <laughs> wow. Is that a drum or a flat bit? This is a flat one. How do you know the difference? So look, a drum yeah. looks at the top top. So this is flat, it's got two bones in it. Ah. This one looks like a chicken leg. Okay, and that's the difference. I actually never knew that. Yeah, yeah. Because people do that thing where they do like a, a whole wing in their mouth. That's what you want. Winging it Wednesday. What says you? Probably. <laughs> it's Wednesday as well. Probably not when you're watching this, but it is in the film. That's a proper sexy one. Right. Anyway, sexy. Sexy. I think they've been baked first as well. Mm. Not seasoning on that. Amazing. They're really good cuts. They're very nice. Mm. That is uh, 
That's a big kebab. <laughs> hi and kebab. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube guys. <laughs> wow. And a very small pitta. Ooh. Oh my god. It's kebabs in the way. <laughs> it's massive. It's huge. Look at the size of it. <laughs> the Welsh beef was animal. It looks really good. It smells very garlic. It does. I think I might have to do a... <laughs> I love it how you're in between the... <laughs> I've got to hide behind this massive kebab. Mmm, <laughs> that good. Very herby. Oh wow, that cheese ball. <laughs> I'm not going to do a Ryan. <laughs> oh, Ryan from TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> smells really nice to me. I did do it. Oh wow. It's a big kebab guys. I'm gonna kinda like make I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's try the chicken. I think we can remove this bit now. <laughs> Hanging chicken kebab. Tzatziki, flatbread, salad. Mm. Very moist chicken. Nice. It's good. Let's get another little bit off here. It is chicken breast as well. I thought it'd be chicken fried. There's a lot going on here, isn't there? Mm. Good. I'll tell you what. Marcus Vineyard actually is a pretty cool place. And nice I'll tell you if away. And I'll tell you if away. <laughs> nice views, nice food, brilliant service. So guys, that was Martha's Vineyard. Uh, the weather's turned here again. Seems to happen a lot when you're by the coast, right? Suddenly it's sunny and then it's raining again. But yeah, that food was really good. Love that kebab and the um, Welsh beef lasagna as well. Really rich, nice, garlicky, very herby as well. Beautiful. Love that. Let's get on to the next one. Let's go. Moving further north now, and welcome to the pretty and unspoiled village of Dale in the heart of the Pembrokeshire Coast National Park. Dale is both a small village and a community in Pembrokeshire, Wales, located on the peninsula which forms the northern side of the entrance to the Milford Haven waterway. The village has only 205 inhabitants and it really is quiet, peaceful and tranquil here, set to a backdrop of stunning hills, peninsulas and of course the beautiful coastline. The traditional activities of agriculture and fishing still take place and have been joined by tourism as a major aspect of the area. The village is a popular location for family holidays, safe beaches and lots of water-based activities such as sailing, swimming, surfing, kayaking and windsurfing. The area has an abundance of wildlife including birds, seals and dolphins. The cliffs and coastal path also provides stunning views and the chance to see a wide variety of beautiful wildflowers. This is beautiful. Its location on the 186 mile Pembrokeshire coast path make the village a centre for walkers and those wishing to explore the offshore islands and their flora and fauna. Shame we didn't bring a picnic, but there is a great pub called the Griffin at Dale just behind us, which surprisingly enough specialises in seafood. But we're not going there today. We are off on the hunt for some Welsh handmade chocolate. And I've heard there's a great little shop back in Milford Haven on the waterfront that specialises in just that. And welcome to Milford Haven. Right here. Back again at the picturesque Milford waterfront and we're on the lookout for Dilly's handcrafted Welsh chocolate. 
Started in 2018 and lovingly handmade in Dilly's Chocolate Kitchen, located in Pembrokeshire, Wales, these are somewhat of a local delicacy. And you can get your hands on them too, right here in Dilly's Chocolate Shop on the waterfront. Hi guys, Hi. so I really wanted to go and try some handcrafted chocolate from Dilly's here. I've got a nice honeycomb and golden bar, then a lovely crunchy and mint. She was so nice as well. Yeah, she was really nice. Where's the picture? But yeah, here it is. Where's Dilly? There she is. Lovely lady. Yeah, they do some amazing flavours like raspberry and rose, gin and lemon, honey and almond, honey and saffron. <laughs> whiskey and vanilla Ooh, like that. and they also do a salt and pepper bar and a fruity and crunchy let's fire it up dilly's into this let's what dilly into this <laughs> beautiful packaging she's got a lovely shop as well yes she has Ooh, look at that oh baby oh dilly there we go wow it's a bar of chocolate <laughs> it's a bar of chocolate it's a bar of chocolate honeycomb chocolate Oh, look at that as well. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Mm. Okay. Proper. Mmm. Mm. Nice. So good. Shall we get on to the mint one? Oh, we're going mint now, are we? Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, Pro look. Handcrafted in Wales. Wales it is. Wales it is. Oh. I have to say, mint chocolate is probably my favourite. Yeah. I'm a mint chocolate fiend. Mint chocolate connoisseur. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. Mm. Banging it is. Mm, very good. Diddy's done us proud. One to check out, definitely. Not often we do sweet stuff, so you know it's gotta be pretty good. And Jordan is really the chocolate connoisseur. And he's saying, Bang in it Go is. out and get it now. <laughs> and that brings us to an end for this episode of Exploring Wales and probably 2022. Hope you will have a good Christmas and a very happy new year and we'll see you in 2023.